Hello, chatbots. Hello, Yuki. Hello, is Baroda. What are you doing under my floor, is Baroda? Are you in the flat below? That would be under my floor. <laughs> are you in error? <laughs> Hello, hello, everybody. I've got Isparoda in my, in my, under my floor. Yuki in my walls. Hmm. Epic Signalis reference. Hey, Kaden. That'd be good to see you as well. Hey, Kaden, the space in the ceiling if you want. <laughs> There I am fucking exhausted. <laughs> I'm really just um Yeah, daylight savings time too, which is why if you're in a place that doesn't change daylight savings today, the stream is probably weird. No, oh, I like having my bed to myself, Kate, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you can be in it when I'm not sleeping in it, but you have to leave when I go in. There's not enough space for both of us, sorry. <laughs> Breaking heart, eh? You okay? What's... What, 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 what's my... It's cute. What's enough? <laughs> it's the... Stretched and well um, hydrated, thank you, Yoki. And my hats. But yeah, I don't have much to say because I'm fucking tired because daylight savings time sucks. That means I'm like technically streaming like later my time. I don't understand how it works, but how it works with relative to other things, but like. People who don't have daylight savings time change should the stream should be like at the same time as it usually is. Oh, mm -hmm. Vivi, hello, hello, lovely you can make it as well. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> so I don't know how long this today's stream will be, but I will hopefully. I will hopefully... I'll try and finish the DLC today. So I do want to not spend too long. I want to get around to getting back to the... Yeah, we've got... So we did the... Yeah. Yeah, so the... Yeah, the, the plan for the stream today is to finish off the rest of the DLCs because we've done um, 5, 4, and 3. And now we've got um, 2, 1, and 0 for the, for the side story DLCs. Mm. So we'll see, we'll get to see more of, um... See, I'm just gonna start booting things up, because, as I said... Now are you up? Oh. <laughs> Off to seven, eight, nine. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. As long as she doesn't suddenly become uh, number five one two and then vanishes off to have a uh, to become a completely different LC unit. A raid from from Carl's Majal's VA. Thank you. Good play. Hello, let me give you a proper 
shout out. Sorry, the thing's going to be a bit weird. As I, uh, so, because I keep forgetting to change the message so the auto shout outs properly. Thank you for the follow, Tiny Terror and Carl's. Carl's. Uh, zero. What now? Can I go find a bush? I need so I realize I don't actually have the game capture on. Uh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, that's all going good. I just realised I didn't have the settings. Anyway, you can watch the intro whilst I do the shout-outs. Is you just chatting? Your dragon's protection must be a welcome thing indeed. You should thank him. Yeah, it's got a global cooldown, Yuki. They can't spam it as much that much. We've both been rejected by the world. We both feel the same yeah, yeah. threat. And yet, here we are, fated to kill each other in the <laughs> end. Yeah, thank you for the raid. For people who don't know me, my name's Kurosami. I'm a, I'm a digital rabbit VTuber. And this game is... I play a lot of different games, but this game is Drakengard 3. It is a game made... It is a game made by um, Yoko Taro before he made... Well, it was about the same time he made the first Nier, but before Nier Automata, obviously. Uh, why have you... <laughs> why are you just... catching missiles, Yuki? But yeah. It is very, um... Content warning, there is a lot of... <laughs> Seems a bit extreme, Yuki. But yeah, content warning, the game does contain a lot of, like, violence and sex relationships. It's... It is very thirsty. But we'll see. So this is, um... Currently, I've completed the first... Anyway, so right today I'm working through the DLC missions, which are kind of like prologue chapters to the um to the main game. So DLC we done, yeah, we last we completed uh both is Paroda. Like there generally seems to be um some kind of undercurrent of a very like I like I guess there might be like some kind of commentary on just like how on some kind of thing to do with sex and video game protecting or something. Everything is about a commentary because the Dragon Guard started as a as a like as Yoko Taro going right. So you've got these people, you've got these like Muso games where you run around killing loads and loads of people, but they're not really treated like oh you're actually killing loads and loads of people. So what if we made a game where? You were treated like you were killing loads and loads of people, so your protagonist was a, um, bloodthirsty psychopath. And then there was Dragon God 2, which didn't- which Shoko Taro didn't write, and thusly it was kind of, um... In terms of, like, any kind of meta-commentary, there wasn't really any. <laughs> and then Yoko Taro came back for Dragon God 3, and it's- now it's all full of meta-commentary again. Sometimes a bit too meta, and Zero loudly completely your main character loudly complains about, um... Why the fuck are there platforming puzzles in this game? Which then continues to keep having platforming puzzles, which is kind of like... You can't, you, you can't just, like, say, oh, this thing sucks. But also, just there's a lot of... There's a lot of talk of sex. Like, just absolute direct references to it. And so now we're going into the prologue chapter of the Intona... Like, the basic story of the game is... The world was in ruins, then a bunch of these women called Intona showed up and basically took over the world. And everything was technically good. Technically. Um, but then Zero shows up and is like, I'm going to kill all the, all the other Intonas. And that's the start of the game. You're just zero on a mission to kill the Intonas. Uh, 
And you're a lot of the... T it so what we'll get to... It probably will be, might, might be less um, horny references because Sense just an idiot. So now we're doing the backstory where we play as the Intona 2. And the Intonas all have these disciples that they're implied to have carnal relationships with. <laughs> like, well, not really implied, just outright stated. Except, um... Yeah, Decadus is... Like, they've all... <laughs> yeah, like, you've got the Intonas all, all are assisted by their, like, disciple, which is a guy they've got hanging around with them. And... The disciples are all, like, really fucked up. So you have Dito, who's an insane sadist, who gets really, ex really, really excited at the sight of blood. And then Decadus, who is an absolute, that, like, comedy-level masochist, who's just like, Ah, oh, you're denying me punishment. Comes. <laughs> that kind of level of... And then there's Octa, who's just absolutely sex crazed and has a massive dick. <laughs> so, wait, wait, so let's, let's just dive into Two's campaign. We didn't actually get to see much of Two in the main story because she, by the time you Zero gets to her, she's actually in a coma. Yeah, the Intonas are also just generally screwed up. Everyone's screwed up in general. There aren't any well adjusted people in here apart from the dragons. There was a young man and a beautiful intoner. The intoner was a boundlessly kind and cheerful young girl. And while her partner was not the most intelligent man, he truly did love her. This is the story of a certain couple. A couple that was deeply in love. It's 999 idea. I need to remember when the fucking timeline of this. Happiest girl alive. You know why? Because I am with the greatest man in the whole wide world. So I guess their thing is going to be being just ridiculously lovey dovey. Oh good, she's got a fucking Time to take care of today's business. Yeah, all of the Ah, fuck wolves. Okay, at least two has a normal fucking weapon. I'm slightly traumatized by the um, last set of the last um, DLC chapter, which was three, because three fights with a pair of scissors, which turns out not a great weapon. Especially when you need to attack at range. And the extra worst part is three's um, quests are all battle arenas with strange modifiers on the enemies. Like sometimes the enemies are really slow, sometimes they're really fast. And one of them is the enemies are really fucking tiny. And then there are annoying flying enemies as well. And it's just, it's these enemies, these imps. Which are annoying enough to deal with normally because they just keep flying away and you have to wait for them to actually make an attack so you can parry it. Ah, I missed the fucking parry window. Ah, pff, fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna back it into a fucking corner. Yeah, imps are the worst enemy in the entire game. Aim. And one of three, like, one of three's mission is entirely against, like, all the chapters are against a specific enemy, and then each of the rounds you fight. And yeah, you can look at fucking Sen walking around like an, like, an, running around like a ridiculous Naruto man. Then the way. The way he stops, where he kind of like swooshes back. So stupid, but that's entirely in character because he's a complete. He is actually completely idiotic. 
Yeah, it's flying enemies, but you have no range attack, and the enemies are in very small and very fast. So you can't see the wind-ups to their attacks. Like you can't to get the uh, counters off. I like the move set on two. No. Actually, no. I tell a lie. Three does have a ranged attack. However, it's a ch it's um, she has to charge it up, and it has literally zero tracking. So if the enemy moves from anywhere that wasn't the direction you were, they were when they were starting. You started charging, then the attack just doesn't hit because they're not there anymore, and your attack flies off. Something tells me two is also fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, Caden doesn't like Scent because he's just stupid instead of being stupid and evil. He's just saying random shit too. It's just completely. Yeah, I can see the, the the general vibe of this chapter is just going to be sent saying some complete. Are you tired? Lady One takes over, it will be a brighter future for us all. Still, you know I'm really fighting for you, Lady Two. Uh, I mean, Two. Oh, Sin. <laughs> You're totally gonna make me cry. Yeah, Zero has alluded to the fact that Two might not have been particularly smart anyway. But I think they are, they're just gonna... I think a lot of dialogue here is going to be Sense says something absolutely fucking stupid, and Two goes, Oh my god, you're so smart. Wonder what the um the like little journal <laughs> Five's chapter was hilarious. So for people who don't know Dragon Guard Three, the Intona Five is basically characterized as the lustful one, which means she's constantly making innuendos. And she's also always fucking hungry, and the entire chapter... Yeah, it is Dragon Guard 3! E. Thank you for the follow-up! Oh. But yeah, Five's entire chapter is her talking about either food or sex, and going to several places in the world, murdering everyone there, because she heard a rumor after torturing someone to death about some kind of legendary food. It's great, it's hilarious. The final boss is a giant crab. Yep, that's five. I don't know why I went um, in Tona mode there, but it is. But, um... Please, perish, wolf. But yeah, no, I just basically, I'd been... I'd always been heard, like... Been a lot of, like, big fans of, of Dragon of Card games. And, like, I was a big fan of Nier Automata. And a few other- I've played a few of the other- I've played some of, like, Yoko Taro's mobile games, like, I've played a bit of Ceno Alice, but I- All right, let's keep feeding Hang on, down. dialogue. Isn't this enough for today, my... two? No way, let's keep going! But I can't possibly permit my lover to overexert herself. Oh, you naughty thing! Keep calling me lover and I'll do whatever you say! Something tells me that's going to backfire horribly, because we know what happens to do at the end. Even before Zero gets the 
spit him. But yeah, no, I basically, basically I'd seen a lot of and I saw um, another VTuber was playing through all the Dragon Guard games. Like, he played through what he played through 1, 2, and has now just finished 3, I think. So I was like, oh, I want to, I want to give this game a try. I want to give the the, the the one that's act the one of the Dragon Guard games that's actually fucking playable. Because Dragon Guard one and two, well, two's a lot more playable, but it's boring because the story is just kind of weird, but not what you ex not the kind of like weird you'd ex level of weird you'd expect from Yoko Taro. Whilst 3 is actually made into more of a playable action gun. I am dying, I need to use healing potion. I forgot to buy healing potions from the last boss! Oh boy. Let's get rid of wolves first because they're annoying. It's such a relief going from three with her really fucking awkward scissors that to have no fucking range and really weird moves. Who just two who just appears to fight normally with a sword. It's normal. But yeah. I was just like, okay, I so say yeah, I just thought I'll give Dragon Guard 3 a try. It's not too hard to uh Acquire and play PlayStation 3 games on totally legitimate digital PlayStation 3 consoles. Uh, are totally fine and allowed in digital England. <laughs> Just why it's running better? It's because it's running purely digitally. There's no hardware lag at all. Yeah, I've been really enjoying this game. As I did start, as as Gaiden kind of alluded to, I did start playing um, Soul Hackers 2 whilst, uh, which is on my own because I'm not going to stream a J uh, RPG. It's just too many words. And too much time. I want to. But I was just like, I don't think I can handle being exposed to Zero and Ringo at the same time. I'm just like, I have too many crushes on these women. Ah, oh god, I can never get the parry window time on the right, they wait for fucking 500 years. Like a fucking Elden Ring boss. Yep. <laughs> this is before Dark Souls, even. Pico Tower is already doing attacks that have... Ah, yep, no. Never can tell when it's going to fucking swing. Okay, but we got rid of one of them, so that makes this whole thing a lot easier. Stab it in the fucking knees. That didn't even hit me. There we got a parry. Just block it. It's safe. Why does this have so much HP? Ow, my. Ow, ow, fuck. Okay, please let there be some HP in this box. Yeah, my breaks to guard every time. Okay, now I can get some damage. She got some long, pretty good. Um, ah, no, now it's good back up again. Oh God, it's. Uh... Yeah, why is this one taking so much longer to kill? I guess they're not. Yeah, she got the parry off that one. 
There we go. Decapitation! Now that's gonna be the end of the mission then. Nope. I have frozen. Yeah, that's what I, my first thought of seeing the um, Titans was um, a big Kingdom Hearts to them. Here we get all our money. Oh, we only opened one box. Um. Yeah. Now we can read the memories. Yeah, do we? Uh, do, do, do. This is... Okay. Well, I'm gonna do that just three minutes of this. Is. Oh, yes, yeah, some. Two is supposed to be a cook. So I'm trying to see what I can do with the face. Today I wanted to jot down notes for my fancy new meat dish! First, find the freshest ogre meat you can. Any type is fine, as long as it's not too grisly. Tenderize for a while, then mix in diced onions, ginger, breadcrumbs, eggs, salt, and pepper to taste. Form the mix into balls, fry them in oil, then pop them in the oven. For the sauce, mix tomatoes, oils, vinegar, and sugar, then spice it up. Yes, Five's going to love these. I love these little, like... Extra little dialogue bits you get. Anyway, three missions we really need to purchase healing items. The great thing about the DLC is you get a shitload of money, but you don't actually have to buy anything other than healing items. I mean, you can buy, like, the other useful items, but I don't bother. I'm bad with using up consumables that aren't just, like, healing items to survive in any game, really. That means when we go back to the, um, get the other endings of the main game, we're gonna have shit loads of cash. What have we got to say, Sen? What lovely lovely nonsense is gonna happen? Boy, am I ever tired! You fought hard, Lady Two. Thank you for the redeems, Yuki. But one look at you, Sen. And all my fatigue just drains away. Poof. All gone. Poof. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> there is no greater honor for me than to aid the kind-hearted lady, too. Kind-hearted? You really think so? Of course. I mean, you are the girl who's been building orphanages for the less fortunate, in spite of all the chaos surrounding us. Well, of course. I can't just leave them alone. The orphans do seem to enjoy your company. Oh, she's making orphanage. That's good. <laughs> Aw, thanks. They really are cute little buggers, huh? They certainly are. And they love getting into all kinds of mischief. <laughs> but I suppose I could say the same for you, Lady Two. What? Mean? I'm not a child. Apologies, my lady. You most certainly are not. Though your soft, pliable skin and sweet, unsullied fragrance <laughs> remind me of a <laughs> That's just gross, son. Uh, a newborn? Indeed. You make me want to care for you like an innocent babe. Son, are you? Hmm. 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 I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm with the two, though. That's a bit of a weird, bit, bit weird champ, though. Are you happy? Well, that's rather sudden. What's wrong? I mean, I'm happy, right? I love this great guy, and he totally loves me back. We're together every single day, and we're working together to build the world that one wants. And everything's going perfect, you know? So yeah, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. But... I'm also scared. 
You know how water pours out of a cup if you put too much in? It's kind of like that. Mm hmm It's like I have so much happiness, I'm worried it's all going to spill out. I don't know. That probably sounds weird, huh? Not at all. Scent, would you mind holding me? I want to feel warm mm. and safe. Of course not. So, what should we do next? We should clear out the land of forests. The monsters <laughs> there are still a serious threat. If you say it, it must be true. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, my dear. How are you doing? I know. I know that happiness doesn't last forever. <laughs> That's why. Wow, got the Bluetooth keyboard out just I to this. I love him right now with <laughs> all my heart. But yeah, as you can see, we're in the DLC prologue about the two that won't shut up about how much they love up. Love each other. It's gross. Also, like, uh, you can see the kind of, like, tone of their, um... But yeah, yeah, I know as well. But you can tell the like, tone, because usually, like, the, um... Like, the mission objectives are very in... Is that a very indicative of tone, like, so zeros say a lot of slaughter and annihilate and whatnot. Whilst... Oh, that was a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. But who's is like, beat them up, bash them up, just fucking take out them bad guys. Yeah. You know, I'd like, as much as I'd like heard a lot about the Doc Hack series, because I'd like, there's a lot of people bit of a cult, cult classic, so I know a little bit of I've never actually seen any gameplay of it. So I wasn't entirely sure if it was like more RPG RPG style. There's a new toner here. Don't let her leave the forest alive. I thought we were killing monsters, Sent. Why are all these people here? I believe some of the Lord's forces remain in the area. Ugh, I hate to do this, but if they're defying one, they have to die. Oh, this shit again. Fucking cannon air nonsense. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And they all fucking die from a st stiff breeze, so. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I'll try out the dot hack st stuff at some point. It'd definitely be on brand. <laughs> I still need to do the, um. Mega Man Battle Network stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the, um, I might just go for a more traditional approach rather than, okay, let's look at the pattern. It's just, okay, it's just alternating spaces. Mm. Nope. Very convenient of them to just all explode at once. If you stop, you're dead. You're already dead. But um, yeah. I uh, question is, what kind of did I don't know what Digimon games I'd really want to play because a lot of them I've like a lot of the ones I'd like to play I've already played. Like I've already played Cyber Sloth. The Okay, I, I, I say a lot of them and it's pretty much just Cyber Sleuth. And I'm like, I don't really feel the draw for some of like the older ones. And like, the newest one is more of a visual novel, so I wouldn't really want to stream that. 
I'm gonna have to kill that wolf. That wolf gets to live because it ran off. <laughs> Uh, trolls! It's okay, we can... Murder trolls easily, because trolls just eat people. Ow! That jump pad. See? You get fucking... Fucking... Want them baby back ribs. From the from the troll, but yeah, I would like like to say if there was like another good Digimon release of something that I'd actually be interested in playing, then maybe I'd do a Digimon stream, but a Digimon game stream. But there's nothing's really calling to me, and I said I got other stuff to do. If I want to be playing more on brand stuff. But yeah, so the plan is at some point. I want to try um, the Battle Network games, which I'll probably emulate in some variety because I, I don't have the money to buy the the, the, the uh, remaster collection, and doesn't really seem. When it's not like a proper remake, remake, it's just the like an emulate, basically again an emulated port. Is it really worth fucking like what forty? 40 quid for for both of them most are pretty badly hurt maybe we should try healing them you know how could a woman wield such power i'm afraid you can't lady two you understand why i did that right why i harnessed the power of your song why i used it to cure the orphans and strengthen our soldiers because you're kind she's an antonio she'll kill you i did it because i wanted them to protect you and in order to do that, they had to be healthier, stronger. I strove to forge them into a mighty shield Look at for you. Acting like it had video. nothing to do with it. Makes me sick. It's not true. You're super kind. You're my gentle prince. So, Sense is actually being incredibly honest there, and Two is just fucking delusional. I see. Oh, fuck these things. Our undead Gigantes are the worst. Are you hurt, my oh, You're so strong. You've got power and beauty. You're just perfect. My strength is but a mere fraction of your own. Okay. I'm simply driven by the far more than your average. Enough to lay down my life. I appreciate that. Don't you ever die on me, Sant. My lady, I promise not to die. Even if it kills me. Oh, there's fucking dudes with bombs rolling around. She is! She is simping so hard for her perfect evil. Where are all these dudes with bombs coming out? And what? Why can't we? Ow! What the fuck hit me? A oh, fucking shockwave? Okay. No, we cannot reach this guy. Guess what the fuck? Look, we cannot go like walk into this water, but the guy guess was on it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking... Where do these fucking bombers come from? I thought those were only in the fucking... side missions for money. Mmm, badly hurt. Oh, there should be some healing in one of these boxes somewhere. Another hydrate. 
it could just be like, oh, I've got channel points. Time to spam all the redeems. <laughs> yeah, excellent. A little bit of healing. Hopefully there'll be a little bit more. Maybe they just don't take damage. Hmm? Ah, so that must be the end of the chapter then. The endless war. Find and Toner gathered up orphans across the land and cared for them. She didn't have any parents of her own. So she wanted to help others escape the misery that she herself had known. And through it all, her one true love was Thank you, you at her side. This is the story of a certain couple. A couple that strove endlessly to support each other. I don't see any way how this could go wrong. Like, I think there's the, the, there's a kind of irony about it that she is technically the kindest, but she's still killing people. Like... Like, there's something... Like, she's, she's saying, oh, I wish we couldn't, but she's still doing it. <laughs> Ah, uh, you won't. Like, it's a, I know it's a justification because she's like, oh, I've got to say this. Anyway, I've got a um, recipe to, to talk out, so. Mm -mm -mm. I was bored this morning, so I tried out a new recipe. First, get a sea serpent. They're omnivorous and tend to get stinky really quick, so yank out the innards ASAP. Cut it into bite-sized chunks, cover them in flour, and cook both sides lightly in olive oil and garlic. For the sauce, pluck out the eyes, make sure to get all the goo, mix in grated apple, salt, and pepper, then simmer until it thickens. Pour the sauce over the cutlets, and bon appetit! Yeah, like, she's, she's, she at least tries to justify it, which is, like, more so than most of the others who just, like, kill on a whim, but, um, just still not good. I mean, the recipes, like, when you look at the recipes that's, like, like, those recipes, they're kind of just, like, normal recipes just using fantasy monster bits. But we can chat at the fireplace. Whatever for, my lady. They say if two people have the same crease in the center, they're fated to be lovers. Oh? Why even bother looking? Huh? We are united by destiny, my lady. No matter what our palms say. Otherwise, we would have never met each other to begin with. If you weren't with me, Scent, I don't know where I'd be. Impossible. What? That idea that you and I might not have come together. It's impossible. <laughs> I don't know. Is he is Liam O'Brien a voice actor? Did he voice said? I don't know. I don't know voice actors. And the and game doesn't credit them properly, so I can't remember. You will always have me by your side, my lady. Oh, Sand. I love you. And I you. Two, when it's just the two of us. Nah. So critical role is all voice actors, right? So it could be the it could have been the voice actor for Sun. As you wish. And what shall I call you when we are one? When we're oh, hey, stop embarrassing me. Okay, so it probably is then. There are, there's a there's a fun little implication, like fun there's a fun little implication, like it sounds like he's being when he's saying like, oh, we'll never be apart, he's being like very just lovey-dovey rhetorical kind of stuff. But it's actually, when you know what a disciple actually is, which you, which we do get from the first ending, then it's very literal. He literally can't exist without like. I sure hope the kids are eating properly. Like he would not exist if he would. There's no way he wouldn't have met two because two made him. Who made it? Took a dove. Like all the the disciples are all just doves that have been given human form. 
the by the intoners. So, Scent literally would not have been able to exist if he didn't get, um, if he didn't, if, without meeting to. But she's just fucking delusional. Yeah, they can be kind of picky sometimes. And we had to leave them at the Cathedral City when we went out like this, you know? Yeah, you do have to wonder what that, that, that implies for, um, people, for the disciples like Dito and, and Decadus. Are you concerned they might not like it over there? Or that they're causing too much trouble for Lady One's people? Yeah, both. I don't know. I'm just worried, you know? But, like, it's an implied that the, um, like, the disciple, there's an implication that disciples, like, help. Like, oh, like they get their personality somewhat from the intona themselves. Well, you shouldn't be. I know genius, and those kids are all pretty sharp. So, so Decadus might be. So, like, Decadus is a um, is a masochist because. Four is like actually a sadist. <laughs> Plus, that underground cathedral where they're staying looks really comfy. Yeah, I hope so. Regardless of that, I'm sure they all miss you terribly, Lady Two. It just makes me feel lonely. Do you mind if I cry a little? Of course not. My arms are always open to you. A letter just arrived from Decadus. Hey, that's the guy we were just talking about. It seems something bad is happening in the Cathedral City. Something bad? Are the orphans all right? Well, they should be. They're holed up deep underground. But, oh no! And they've got a squadron of enhanced soldiers guarding them, so... They should be isn't good enough, Scent. We have to go check on them right now! Yeah, so like the actual like in intelligence and human parts of them probably come from the intoner rather like were created by the intoner rather than being something they innately had when they were still doves. It's April twenty fifth. There are so many things that require protection, but there's a limit to how much can actually be protected. Such a simple concept. But back then, I was incapable of understanding. But yeah, there's, I mean, it's probably more subconscious than that, Yuki, so... Oh. Why are they all zombified? Uh, the zombie soldiers we know. Yeah, that's not good. But uh, the shambling, like the shambling soldier things, are explicitly three's handiwork. So. Oh no, if Scent had three enhance the soldiers, then they might have gone a little awry. Three's hold. Oh, we're fighting. This is awful. I've never seen enemies like this. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Lady Two, please calm yourself. Uh, skeletons, and we don't have. Okay, we can still. Quite easily defeats guns, but skeletons are best. I mean, look, spirits, spirits are the worst. Spirits possess enemies and make them stronger, and then you have to fucking. Okay. You have to like guard break them or parry them. Yeah. There's probably lots of implications, so I don't know if this this like prologue stuff will give us yet, but we might come up in the like other end in the like other endings. There's still a lot of main story for us to get through. Okay, just this. 
Please break your skull. Okay, yeah. There's the spirit. There you are. Don't you shoot me. Okay. Yeah, spirits are incredible. There's a lot of very annoying ga enemies in this game. <laughs> like, undead are annoying because they come back if you don't keep wailing on them. Spirits are annoying because they possess enemies and make them really strong. The undead Gygases are annoying because they have that huge fucking shockwave attack. Money! And imps are annoying because they fucking fly. It is! So it is technically late for me, but unfortunately we've got the fucking um, daylight savings nonsense. So I don't know when I'll actually stop when I'm. Oh, oh, fuck! That guy's on a horse. Looks like an evil shadow lance. So that's new. There's a lot of XP though. I don't really have- maybe I shouldn't be bothering to fight literally every enemy, but... Uh, they've got cannons. Oh no, they're com Ow, fuck! Okay. Ow, 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 I got caught on the- the fucking backs I- I- Yeah, oh yeah, they are evil. They've got, like, skeleton horses. Not to say skeleton horses are inherently evil, but... Wait, why was that, that talking about Lady... that met you? Like, they definitely said Lady Poo. It's hard to make out what they're saying because it's really distorted and also combat noises. Yep, nope, still can't make out what they're saying, but they're saying something that seems important. Oh, they seem to not be, uh, not be happy to see Sen. <laughs> Sen. Sen. So it's hard to tell, they, they, they pretty recognize Sen. But I can't really tell if that's like, ang- Okay, yeah, they just seem like they're just not having a good time in general. What was that? I can't make out what they're fucking saying through the voice distortion. Yeah, it definitely feels like- oh, I have very little HP. It definitely sounds like the kind of, like, pained cries for help. So... Yeah, if we're right- if I'm right on the hunch and those enhancements did, uh... Did come from three- oh no! Sent, what have you done? <laughs> Ooh, is it gonna be... Well, that, that thing's gonna trigger battle. I wanna open these boxes first. 
But yeah, my guess is that when Sent was like, oh, I'm going to enhance these soldiers, he was like, who can enhance soldiers? I know, Lady 3. She does a lot of soldier enhance, soldier and monster enhancing. And now they've all gone fucking berserk because Lady 3 does not do ethical experiments. What did you do, Sen? What did you do? Reinforce them with the power of your song. Oh, not even three was involved. No. Okay, the why would an Antonis? So it's too early to say. This, this is my fault. I'm the one who borrowed your song's power. None of this is your doing, my lady. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Lady Two, please get a hold of yourself. Sent you fucking idiot. Look what you've done. You've given her PTSD. Yeah, that one was saying, like, don't give up. What a fucking... They're all... Is there any more? Is it keep gonna keep going? Ugh, is it off? <laughs> is it over? Oh, okay. So... They're gonna be fucking dead, aren't they? Mission complete! We killed all our own soldiers. So, interesting to learn that that's a thing that Intona songs can do. We got all the treasure which means we got... But before we learn the learn the terrible effect of the children now, no. Let's look at a new cooking recipe. Oh, this one. This is cute. This is a cute one. <clears throat> this morning I made a nutritious drink for my beloved scent. <laughs> Take a hundred dutter seeds, five cut leaves, and four mandrake roots. Be careful picking those. Is mash them into a fine powder, then simmer in oil. Wait for the colour to change, then strain it so that only the nutrients remain in the oil. Then add milk, eggs, and honey, pour it in the jug, and shake like crazy. P.S. Scent drank the whole thing in one go. He probably won't sleep for a week, which is fine by me. <laughs> uh, fucking idiots. Alright. Let's see how this shakes out. I think this is the final... It should be the final chapter for the, um... DLC, because there's only like four chapters to each DLC. Things that are precious, and things that are not. Things that mustn't break, and things that may. Tell me. Who has the right to decide such things? Yeah. 
This is a new map. It's fucking why are those skulls are everywhere. Wait, I definitely haven't been here before. I haven't been under the cathedral. Also, yes, my lady. Oh, we must keep moving. This is certainly got a lot. Of... Okay, so the skulls aren't supposed to be there. But a lot of the other, yeah, yeah. Generally, seems like bad time overall. Mm -mm. Is there shiny things? Yes, there is. Yeah, some seem to be wanting to kick, deliberately wanting to. Now I'm worried. Sent, did you enhance the children? Oh yeah, that's... I mean, um, there was plenty of uh, child murder in uh, Dragon Guard 1. There's... There's an entire section where you have to fight um, Empire conscripts that have, um, that are children. I think there might also be zombie children. Let me get behind you. Ooh. And one of your party members uh, likes to eat children because she's insane. Yep. Yeah, we'll see, it's like... I'm just gonna go to the... Oh! Fuck off! They put fucking... <laughs> High level boss enemies and then instantly spirit possessing. That's they know exactly how how much that's supposed to be like a big fuck you. I think it's not actually that bad. Ow, ow, ow. Leave me alone, all you fucking... Okay, and the... Eh. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting, because I, I thought the, like, the undead would be slightly stronger. Mm, that's a nice big room with a checkpoint. Where are they? Where are the children? 
Where are my children? Oh, that's new. What the fuck is that? Oh, homunculus. What the fuck? It's got a body on its tail. It is the children! <laughs> oh no! The children turned into a blob monster! I mean, entirely expected by the way things were going. I'm trying to deflect. can turn invisible great these aren't your children anymore it's a monster why are they screaming why are they crying why are they crying ah fucking oh it damn it bit late on that one Oh fuck! Ah shit, we died! Yep, yeah, here we go. It might be a giant blob of a monster, but it's still kids. We're still doing the, the Dragon God classic of child murder. I mean, this is probably like, like killing it is probably the main thing to do, but I'm still, I'm still saying this counts as a, this counts as, as a Dragon God classic child murder. Hey, Peach, we're killing children. Oh, the voice lines are just so... Oh. No. Those voices. There we go. Is that the children? I'm the fuck goes, in, goes invisible. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, like. These aren't your children anymore. It's a monster. Why are they screaming? Why are they crying? Why are they calling out to me? Oh, oh, what? 
fucking flashbanged me. Oh. I'm trying to get the fucking projectile deflection, but it's hard to do when it's fucking invisible. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, fuck! Ah, piss, piss, piss! Stop being invisible! Very rude! Ah, shit! Yeah, we got the extra hitter. Disappeared quite a few times already, son. I think it's just please snap out of it. I can take this pain for you. Take refuge in me. Ah, she fucking lost it. Hmm. I said, um, Dragon Guard 1 was more directly just killing actual kids. Like, they were just fucking conscripted soldiers in the evil empire. And Kame's just like, yep. That I will accompany you to wherever your broken spirit takes you. By the end of the battle, the intoner's spirit had been shattered. The broken shards fell deep into darkness, doomed never to return. Mm -hmm. This is the story of a couple deeply in love. The story of a foolish couple. The story of a couple ruined beyond repair. Oh, this is the ice pick. No, don't stop. We're, we're, we're not bringing back lobotomies. Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes I'm just too good at this game, and I skip over a bunch of the dialogue because I'm killing the boss too quickly. <laughs> Happened in the last boss of ending A, where I just completely missed a very vital piece of dialogue. Because I did a, such a massive amount of damage to um, the boss in a single head. Okay, so that's two's chapter done. Now we get to see the enigma. The we learn that two was two and sent were both fucking stupid, and accidentally made a horrible giant monster. Lovely. Oh boy, we get to hear more about one's brother. This will be fun. Yeah, I've just generally fucked everything up by trying to be too nice. Killing with kindness, as they say. I don't know, we get to read the last, um... The last recipe. Well, there's actually a bunch more recipes because there's one for every level from 1 to 10, but I can't be bothered to- I don't want to grind out levels, because you have to do that. But anyway, recipe time, recipe time. Let's- let's forget all about the horrible PTSD. The five of us are together for the first time in ages, so I'm making heap uh, a heaping helping of my hand-kneaded noodles. Take a pile of flour and knead in some salt water. Really get into it. Stretch it with some long strands, then boil until pliable. 
While you're waiting, get some ground ogre meat and fry with tomato, garlic, sesame seeds, salt, and pepper. It makes a lot, but that's okay. Five inhales the stuff. Yes, I actually saw one smile. I'll have to make this again. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, anyway, we don't need to buy them. One's weakness is noodles. Let's see. Let's let's get to learn more about one. And her brother. Does her brother fight alongside on like a disciple? Once upon a time, many moons ago, there were five beautiful Intoner sisters. Four of the intoners owned a personal servant called a disciple. But one of them had no disciple at all. So I love that Dec in these storybooks, Decadus is always in the table pose. He is literally not never seen standing in any of in any of the storybook stuff. He is permanently assigned to table. Okay, so this is a year before. Um one two story please i don't want to do this i'm scared ready your sword if you're like this already you'll never be able to kill zero but i don't want to fight you one if you're not coming for me then i'm coming for you one on <laughs> one. if you're weak enough to die here You'll never be able to kill Zero. Fight like your life depends on it. So we're just starting off with fighting one's brother in order to make him not a not a wussy. And we fight with a Chakram. Interesting. Ow! It's really sh I'm like all these fucking You have forgotten your mission, have you? If Zero manages to defeat me in battle, you have to kill her. Well yeah, he's literally basically a clone. Ah, that fucking Ah, this is an annoying fight because half of your attacks just kind of like go, oh, nope, he's too short. Yeah, and you can't fucking air juggle him. I mean, he doesn't, the thing is, he doesn't really get to have a proper fight with Zero, at least in the in ending A. Hey, he just stabs her in the back, and that's it. He just doesn't even use a fucking chakram. Why are you trying to fight him with use a chakram when your zero killing weapon is a sword? I'm not entirely sure you sort this through. This through one. Oh, that's the end of the fight. Huh. It's already been three months, has it? Three months since I gave birth to you. Hmm. The Intoners are a cursed existence. I realized this back when the nation was still wallowing in chaos. Before we stepped up to save the world. Every intoner needs a disciple by her side. They boost the power of the intoner's song and also quell the desires that stir within them. 
Desires for sex. Oh, we're getting for honor, for cruelty, for romance. I see. We all lust after different things. But what exactly did I desire? I couldn't be sure. So the disciples also the the um the reason why there's so much sex sex involved with disciples is so that you don't have the um Intoners don't have to worry about uh it's hard to put into coom brain. But I guess I felt lonely. So I think this something tells me this chapter is going to have a lot of um, plot implications. The solitude of fighting alone exhausted me. And so Who are you? You are me. I'm you? Hmm? Now come. Uh -huh. We're the same. You and I are the same? Yes. We are one. I mean, yeah. Like, because I, right, I still have the, like, whole amplifying the song and letting them summon giant monsters or whatever. It's very confusing. We're getting deep into the, uh, deep into the beans here. Ah, fuck! A disciple is a tool for battle, but it didn't feel right using someone else as a weapon. So instead, I created a copy of myself. And since it was a copy, no matter what happened to it, he would always forgive me. Or I would forgive myself, I suppose. I used the cathedral's magical energy to infuse my copy with disciple-like powers. More than enough to take on the lords of these lands. Thus. I gained a partner I could rely on, and a way to forgive myself for what I had to do. Uh, interesting. Only there wasn't this really annoying. Protect the cathedral. Yes, sir. In t fucking. Why do they have? No, nope, can't hit any of them. Oh fuck! Strike down the intruders. Yes, kill them at once. Yeah, that was annoying. It's like we already had to start this chapter by fighting, by fighting one's brother. Would you like me to tell you? Whatever you like. Well, you made me, so how about mother? Forget it. That makes me sound old. But you said whatever I... Sister. I'm your sister. Okay, that explains that. She just didn't want to feel old. Sister. One. And then she's fucking murdering all of you, so... This is very much before anyone has... If we let a weakling like her win, we'll be mocked for generations. If she's weak, what the hell do you consider strong? 
<laughs> okay, so this is basically the start of one's conquest. So, what exactly is it you need me to do for you, sister? First, we defeat the cruel lords who rule these lands. And once we've defeated them? Then the people suffering under their reign will be saved. And once they're saved? Then we'll find a reason to live. I see. Mm, okay. So you're n so nine hundred ninety-eight is is the start of the start of the conquest, as it were. A lot of uh, 60 soldiers, Jesus Christ. Ow, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's a lot of dudes. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of the archers first. That's probably the smart thing to do. Yeah, oh, no, let me. Hello, Sebi. Glad. Th I don't know what I was doing there, but yeah. Oh, what? I just want to get rid of this one fucking arch. No, because the fucking- it keeps auto-locking onto the fucking soldiers on the ground, and then it can't hit the archer because there's the ballista in the way. Ah, oh, this sucks. But hey, Sobi, how you doing? At least we can get a lot of- we actually get high enough- Ah, oh, god, there's just so- Where are these explosions coming from? Oh. Dudes with explosions, that's what. Anyway. We have to fucking just stab the archer in the face. Okay, finally, it's over. Nah, ready to sleep, I guess it is. It's technically quite late, I don't really feel it. It's fucking daylight savings times nonsense, so. Not still technically probably could be going quite late. It's probably won't feel it. Well, at least I as long as you're with me. Yeah. yeah, it's very uh, a bit very narcissistic. In the literal terms. I wonder what her um, memories option is going to be. Seven words. Why are you excited about that, Kaden? What do you have to say? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is her manifesto, I guess. 
My sisters, the lords that have exploited these lands are no more, and I understand the quest's root out straggles is going well. However, you must remain ever watchful, for the defeat of our foes does not end our work. We must present new we must prevent new lords from rising up, and we must defeat the traitorous zero. To do this, we must build and then nurture our powers. And since I am putting thoughts to paper now, I want to write out the seven words we intoners must know. I see, Caden. I see. Do we need to buy any more healing items? No, we don't use any. Good. Makes me wonder what kind of bingo card you've got there. August 1st was the last mission, so we're still on the same if murder is a same day, I think. What about killing to save the life of someone else? I mean that depends on your district counting. <laughs> like regional laws. The lords of each nation use their almost limitless power to brutally exploit their subjects. To free the people from these oppressive regimes, we, the Intoners, have been eliminating their forces in each land. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, Dragon Guard Bingo would make sense. Yes, their lords have inflicted great cruelty on their own people. So if we're killing them, does that make us good? We don't need to answer that question. That's a fairly uh, pragmatic response. The people of these lands have suffered under their lords for a very long time. Did they kill their own subjects? I assume so, but I also believe many have faced debates far worse than death. Worse than death? Who could possibly be worse than death? I don't know. Sooner or later, you may see for yourself. Just women. There's nothing to fear. Right. Deliver a message to our lord. Yes, sir. All forces in retreat. Repeat. All forces in retreat. Hmm. Interesting. But you know, that's a fairly uh, logical set. I guess she is supposed to be very logical. So having a very... I don't think she's inventing democracy, really. Considering it's just replacing one regime. We, I, we have to see... We really don't know what one's like... Um, Yeah, benevolent dictatorship, it seems. It means a world without conflict. Okay, so that kind of uh, revolutionary. But well, you're just trying to make peace through force. You're learning fast. There's still something I don't quite understand. Are they twins? What's that? They look so nice. That is a. So we're actually getting a, a fairly balanced view on using violent revol violent war to uh, and mass killing to ensure a peace. But can it really? You know, nearly allowed herself to show emotion. But yeah, the question is, of course, that I don't think even one has the answer to. 
is, um, can it really bring peace? A lasting peace? And if her goal is peace, why is Zero trying to kill all the Intonas? Yeah, but how long can, like, uh, you know, one of the questions you always have to ask is, how long can peace through fear last? Ah, yeah, but one's goal isn't a, a temporary piece, it's an everlasting piece. But I think, judging by how this game goes, I feel like my musings will be answered fairly quickly. <laughs> It's about a lot of things, Sebi. Yes. Allies. We share a common enemy in Zero. It's about a lot of things, Sebi. And I'm feel like we've still fight the monks for things. I can't tell anyone about you. You're keeping me a secret from our sisters. Yes. All the way to the end. You're my fail sister after all. Every game needs at least one ace in the hole. So, no, there's one of them, not exactly a person per se. She's the big man waiting just up ahead. Nah, I know who's coming up. Let's only look at one's combos. Oh, yeah. So get ready. Ah oh, fuck! Why do they keep throwing these fucking ex the suicide bomber enemies? And there was loads in. <laughs> How did you hear that? Be like, oh my god, twins they were. He's <laughs> like, why the fuck do you care? About Please perish, Mr. Gygus. There's too many fucking archers spawning. Okay, good. The bomb killed the Gygus. Leaving now, because this is awful. Oh, there is our friend. Thank you for the head part, Sebi! Things drop up. Hey, hey, wait a second. Okay. Wait just a Oh, you got something else, you know that? So yeah, I love Gabriella, she's great. Alright, let's see, what's the first of these words? The first word. The first word we must know is cooperation. We intoners possess immeasurable power. This, I am afraid, may lead you to place too much trust in yourselves. As we are now, and as we know, there is no power that does not fail its owner sooner or later. But if we five combine our powers, I believe we can overcome anything. And if our own power is not enough, we can call on the strength of our allies, of the people who amass at our sides. They may be singularly weak, but combined, they can blaze a trail to the future. Okay then, I need to buy some 
Vegas. Healing. Moving on. Amber. Sister? Hmm? Remember what you told me earlier today? About how intoners are charged up sexually? Oh, now we're getting the logic behind why the fuck this is the thing. Yes. Is it true for you? Yes. So do you need me to? No. Why not? Why not? Because s aren't allowed to <laughs> We need permission just to <laughs> It's not happening, okay? You'd have to be some kind of crazed maniac to do that. But then, how will you satisfy your needs? I'm creative. I'll figure something out. You're creative? Just go to bed. <laughs> so one can satisfy herself just fine with uh, creative uses. I hope that creative use isn't yes. Gabriella. I'm the only sister. Huh? He's male. Oh. <laughs> I just want to get a bit more extra dial. You know, I knew you had weird powers, but oh well, whatever floats your boat. It's your life after all. Where are we off to next, sister? I'm going to the land of I don't think that would stop them, Caden, not given previous entries in the Dragon Guard series. You're going to the Cathedral City. But, but I want to stay with you. No. You need to go cool off a bit. Very well. You're too horny. But yeah, I don't think there's any legal reasons that would um stop any of that. And they definitely wouldn't shy away from it if they wanted to do it. If they wanted to do it. I headed out for the monster infested desert. Is it time to murder some monsters on a dragon? Oh no, we're gonna have to run through the fucking desert again. Oh no, good, we're on we're Just be quiet and fight. You're distracting me. Okay, so we have to... And this is something more like a... The... Hang on. Let's deal with these archers first. Uh, golems are... It's the first time fighting golems on Dragonback, I think, so... Mmm! But that's an attack that does a lot of damage and is generally a lot safer than trying to nope yep. uh... yeah that's generally the, seems to be the best 
remember when you used to laugh at me. I knew nothing back then. I was no kid. I'll bet you still like that somewhere deep down. Mm, it wasn't always old queen bitch. Maybe all you sisters really do need men around. Hmm? Think whatever you like. Don't you pretend to be all grown up and mature. Next down. Forward, have a chance since time. All units, focus on breaking up our anti-air attacks. Don't worry, John. Come out, Tony. You probably needed more than the ah, fuck. I suppose there's some truth to that. Perhaps we're weaker than we'd like to admit. Oh, come on. You're supposed to get all mad and yell at stuff. I would like this. Ah, this is some kind of device. Let's get a heat back. Forward. Don't look back. Bye, sir. Let's probably actually use the fucking super mode to clear it. Because it. Does it actually do any more damage? Feels like it doesn't actually do much. Maybe it's not worth actually just using for the big shockwave that kills everything. Hit these fucking archers. Ah, oh, fuck, what hit me there? Oh, you're fighting both a Cerberus. Just keep moving, don't get rocket punched. Ah, fuck, tracking on that. Sucks, so you're definitely getting rid of. Getting rid of the golem first. Oh no, it's- Ah oh, fuck, it's the fireballs from Cerberus. Ah, oh, fighting two at once is awful. Absolutely heinous. She's my friend. Yeah, it seems like the super mode just basically is for the involve. Anyway, let's get rid of you annoying gits. Ah, fuck! Getting sniped by this fucking Cerberus! Right. Ah, fuck! And this golem! Ow, 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 ow! This sucks! Okay. Just the Cerberus left. Ah, that was awful. So you really want to kill Zero that bad? Hmm? Of course. Why else do you think I'd be doing all this field field training, right? <laughs> How stupid and ineffective! Not to mention totally old-fashioned. Be quiet. No, listen up for a chance. I happen to have a piece of info you'll be very interested in. Oh? Yes. See, there's a wood called the Forest of Trials over in the land of forests. I hear it's the perfect little spot to build up your body and your soul. Sounds like a hoax. Could be. Still, I suppose I am a bit curious. All right, let's pay a visit to this Forest of Trials. Not the Forest of Trials! Lacking a disciple to call her own, the intoner used one of her own ribs to fashion herself a bride. Ooh, that's just like Adam and Eve, but in reverse. The two of them made up for what each other lacked, and they grew up together within the cathedral. And beneath the light of the moon, 
The dragon quietly watched over them. Interesting. Mm. Let's see what this new word is. Memories of the donors. The second word. The second word you must know is strength. No matter what you believe in, or how such belief may be, it cannot come to fruition without the power to make it so. Never cease polishing your skills with sword and song. Never cease inventing new strategies for battle. Think about how to make your nation sol stronger as a whole. Develop weaponry and train your soldiers. Above all, always be ready to wage war for what you believe. Mm, passionate. Mm hmm. Continue. I wonder if even we truly know what it is we desire. There's some kind of power preventing me from entering the forest. How clever. So be it. You wait here, Gabriella. What? Wait! You're going in there by yourselves? There's no need to worry, Gabriella. I can keep my sister safe. Oh, I'm not worried now. Especially not about you. We'll try to go as far in as we can. Just be careful. Fucking skeletons. Here he is now. Ah, oh, fuck off! Spirits! No, where's that other fucking ah oh, god damn it Okay come on swing at me There we go oh, Where are you go where'd you go where the fuck did it go? How the fuck did the skeleton got back up? Ah, oh god, this is really bad for fighting skeletons. So slow and doesn't like have any multi hit attacks that are good for enemies. You know, it's not like the sp spears that can break. Ah, fuck, no, don't you get back up. Oh god, yeah, chakrams are really, really annoying for fighting skeletons. You really want something that hits faster. But that's as a wide sweeping weapon, it really don't. Ah, oh, imp. At least it's better at fighting imps than other weapons. Because you didn't have range attacks. Ow, fuck. So did it. Where'd it go? Why can't I lock onto it? Excuse me? Yeah, I just got fucking locked behind the terrain and I couldn't lock onto it. Yeah. Just as I was saying they're easy to deal with with ranged weaponry, it was like, no, how about we just don't let you do that?
Okay, what's our bossy boss? This is it? The Forest of Trials? It looks normal enough to me. I think only, only one is covered in blood. Brother, this doesn't get anything. Oh, it's a fake zero. Yes, too lucky in fact. Huh? Look closer. This is a fake. You mean Zero doesn't usually wear a giant fucking cross on her face? Why is there a fake Zero here? I don't know. Perhaps there's some magic here that reads our minds and brings our thoughts into being. One thing's for sure. If we can't beat the fake, we'll never defeat the real thing. Seems this really is a forest of trials. Mmm, fighting Zero with a Chakram is going to be annoying. Oh shit, she can go in Tona mode as well. There's too many of them. It's like a big festival of Zeros. I'm not even scared. Ow, ow, ow. Alpha! Ah, oh, that is... Ah, oh, fuck! No, how am I supposed to deal with this? There's too fucking many of them! I just get fucking stun-locked and... I guess I can use my invincibility to shred through them. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, this is... Awful. She's just gonna keep repeating this until I can actually. Let's try uh, take it. No, 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 no. How the fuck? Serious? Okay, so... Okay, I just have to hit the right zero without hitting the other zeros. Okay. Before they start fucking dogpiling me. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a while. Well, with finer details, like how one is absolutely caked in blood. Okay, let's do that again, so... We just need to... Zero. How lucky. You mean zero so soon, I mean. Yes. Too lucky, in fact. Huh? Look closer. This is a fake. Let's get those parries off. Why is there a fake zero here? I don't know. Perhaps there's some magic here that reads our minds and brings our thoughts into being. One thing's for sure. If we can't beat the fake, we'll never defeat the real thing. Oh, fuck. Seems this really is a forest of trials. Make use of range, I think. I think I'm gonna... Okay. There's too many of them. It's like a big festival of zeros. Oh, fuck no, because the moment you don't have the right one locked on, you just fucking... How are you... Oh. No, no. No, I feel like the moment you hit the wrong one, it's like, okay, no, you fucked up. 
but you don't have the time to aim the camera at the real... At the real one. What the fuck is... There we go. Just fucking get damage in before she goes fucking... Okay. Oh, she doesn't actually start. Oh, I see. It doesn't actually st start. She doesn't actually start swinging until you actually pick a target. You actually hit one of them. I'm oh, just being impatient. Okay. But yeah, I think <laughs> this is a fight of keep. This is a fight of keep away. So you can't really react to her attack because he's just got player character instant speed attacks. All right. Oh, now they're all bloody. Well, how am I supposed to tell which one's real now? No. Yep, no, okay, yeah, so the, at least we know. Ow, 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 okay. What's the fucking difference? Is it this? This one looked different. Nope, nope, it's not. I'm going to die. Let's just involve through as much as we can. No. Okay, what's the actual fucking difference? They all look the fucking same. So now they're all- oh, 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 it's the sword! Only the real Zero sword is covered in blood. Nah, sneaky. Sister. Okay, I've got the hang of this fight. It's no longer as bullshit as I thought it was. Wasn't as hard as like my I was my own worst enemy in that I think it's too impatient. What was that all just a dream? No, I feel like there's probably at least some other- most other people would take a while to figure out it was the, um, swords that were clip the fake swords were clean. If not for one, I wouldn't have survived the Forest of Trials. You also wouldn't fucking exist! Yeah, I know. That's the fourth time you told me. I sure wasn't expecting all those zeros in one place. Let me guess. You were ready to piss yourself at first, but watching your sister slice through them like butter gave you the courage to nut up and fight. Wow, Gabriella. How did you know all of that? Because you've told me four times! <laughs> Can't you yell at him or hit him or something? He won't shut up. 
I think it's time for you to get some rest. Yes, I suppose I am a little tired. It's just decided. This is finally. It's got to be proud. The forest of trials was an illusion conjured up by some sorcerer or other. Yes. But you didn't see a sorcerer, did you? No. Probably cursed to death by his own creation or the like. Hmm. Mm. And it whipped up an entire army of zeros for you, huh? You must really hate that girl, don't you? They were weak. All of them. Just a bunch of flimsy knockoffs. The real Zero was nothing like that at all. She's strong. Well, maybe strong she likes Zero. To... Oh, come on. How about giving you and that brother of yours some credit for a change? Get some sleep? Okay. Honestly, I thought you were going to bite the big one back in that forest. I feared much the same outcome, but I managed to survive. And it was because of him. Looks like someone's not so alone anymore. I just hope we can have more little moments like today. Meaning what? Meaning, if my brother and I work harder, that will take some of the burden away from you, Gabriella. Burden? You burdening me? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. But you... You think we dragons get all worked up because of what some girl asks us to do? <laughs> I'll decide whether it's a burden or not. Got it? And I'll also decide how long I hang around with you guys. I'm the boss of my own fate. Always have been, always will be. I don't need some human holding anything back on my account. Thanks, Gabriella. Shut your pie hole. You really must be tired if you're spouting crap like that. Get some sleep already. I like his... Mm, what's the book gonna say? After the battle, the exhausted siblings fell fast asleep. Aww. Feeling their weight upon her, the dragon reflected. This human is clever. She'll soon uncover the mistake this world made. Though the dragon considered the pair to be a right royal pain, she didn't attempt to disturb their slumber. That was the mistake the world made. Just as they were. All throughout that's probably something that's going to come up in the, um, in the, um, other endings. But now we've only got one more DLC to go. Mmm, stuff. I wonder if in Zero's DLC we actually get, get anything, or if it's just... They'll probably just be fighting. If it's. If it's previously, then. I'd imagine we probably have a fixed um, equipment set up like the um, other intern like the other DLC, because it'll probably just be zero with the sword. So. Ooh, so this is going to. Explain why Zero is on her murderous mission. Learning of the flower that infected her, the internal Zero goes on a journey to bury both the sisters born from it and herself. Okay, so it'll be a fixed setup. So now we get to go back to our girl Zero, but before... Before the, the events of the game. That means we'll probably have, um, Michael with us. Anyway. The third word we must know is wealth. Powerful though you may be in battle, your people cannot survive without a prosperous nation to rely upon. Retain always a bountiful supply of the food and resources need for life, for they are vital in developing your nation. Remember that true wealth cannot be taken, it must be grown. Tend crops, raise animals, find new lands, engage in trade. And above all, do not concentrate your wealth in one area, but instead instead share it with everyone in your land. That's a good idea. Don't trickle down economics, does not work. That's spicy political take for you. So hot and controversial. Imagine a world where all the wealth was pulled up at the top and not spread amongst the people. Who could ever imagine such a horrible place? Such a horrible place. Anyway, let's go see why Zero is trying to kill everyone. To you. 
Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was an intoner who was infected by a flower. This intoner had five younger sisters. Each of them cursed as well. Fearful of the flower's immense force, the intoner began searching for a dragon, a dragon strong enough to kill every last intoner. Mmm. So this is her looking to find Michael. How they met. This is 99880, so this is before... God, I can't, I'm trying to remember this. I was a refugee who had fled to the land of seas. At the same time, I was in constant pursuit of the flower. Specifically, the five incarnations of the flower that had split off from me. My sisters. I had to hunt them down. And I had to kill them all. Yeah, the storybook art is really good. I didn't have much time left. We gotta keep attacking! But Lady Cerulea ordered us to... So what? Who the hell is she? Doesn't matter. Just take them out, now! Okay. So yeah, this is before one's gone and killed all the lords. Because, no idea who the fuck Lady Cerulea is, but she was, I think she was the Lord of the Land of Seas before. Before the intoners came. Evidently not a very benevolent ruler. I guess that was already implied that all the lords were pretty shit. It's nice going back to zero after all this time. So it seems like the soldiers are It seems like they, the ladies, like, know what the fuck, um, Zero is. They haven't met the other Intoner. They don't know what an Intoner is. They're just like, oh shit, it's Zero. Zero's bad news. They might- so probably. Hmm, hmm. I've got too many incomplete thoughts to speculate. I like you said, I, can't, I hate your little faces. Is that it's, it's a dragon. A dragon? Do you humans always attack? This way, so you enjoy killing each other as much as you see it. Perhaps you allow me to join the world. This is this So Michael's just like, see, I hate. Well, like. Hey, I see you enjoy a bunch of murder. Why don't you let me help you with that? The girl in white. Who are you? You think to give me orders? Me, an 8,000 year old dragon? Witness the power of my fire. I'll kill you all. God damn it! What are you doing? <laughs> Dumbass. 
No, the dragon's trying to kill me as well. <laughs> that's a... That's... He's literally trying to kill me. But it's just... The soldiers are just fucking collateral. Michael, your aim is terrible. Thank you, cutscene. I'm sure I'll appreciate getting fucking shot out by fireballs. I can't deal with this shit anymore. You cannot escape me. Just watch me! Ow! Fuck! <laughs> Instant karma. Man, what a prick. But I could really make use of that strength. Never let suffer an archer to live. Absolute git bastards. But I really need to like remember to like try and put the timeline of the game in order because Oh boy. I was short on time, see? I had to finish before the flower stole what little remained of me. I couldn't afford to make another mistake. I had to kill my sisters, and then I had to destroy the flower for good. But in order to do that, there was one critical item that I absolutely had to procure. The strongest dragon in the world. This is just, just as you do. You just gotta have the strongest dragon in the world. Victory to our leader! Oh, there's dudes up here. Oh, and dude up here. And now there's no longer a dude up here. Ah, oh, fuck! God damn. Archers! Be gone with you. Oh, oh, don't fall. Hey! Got them goodies. Uh, is... There's a small little church building. This is like it. That's convenient. The strongest. <laughs> so is, is is Gabriel also a bit stupid? Not Gabriel. Um, Michael. Definitely hiding a thousand worlds. <laughs> Over here, you dumb flying ox. Yeah, you can try. Don't give up. We're just getting started. What are we even fighting 
What are they fighting for? Probably should be fighting around Michael so that he fucking hits them. That's a bit of a waste of healing. You gotta say, without weapon swapping, the combat in this game does get really kind of repetitive. Because at least, like, be before you start getting additional weapons, the game's just like, okay, here's a bunch of. Ow. It's the strongest dragon in my arse, he barely fucking tickles. Ah, okay. Thank you, Michael. Gonna grab the goodies. You still live, girl. <laughs> Damn right I do. Now kill me if you can. <laughs> Not yet. You and I have much to discuss. Hmm, much to discuss, eh? That was my first encounter with Michael. He was stupid, and not nearly as strong as he thought. <laughs> so yeah, he just has a big fucking ego. Oh, we missed a chest! Well, let's see what Zero's memories here are. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mikhail's diary. Okay, so we can... oh, I have to try and do a voice to match Mikhail. God damn. January twelfth, sunny. Today I went to a land of to the land of animals, and it was great. There was a big cat with fluffy hair, and an elephant with a short trunk, and a horse with a big long neck. Another horse that was covered in stripes. We all played in the mud and chased each other around, and I got a ton of fun. The sun was dumb and hot, and I got tired really fast. Boo. How does a dragon keep a diary? How does he hold a pen? Ooh, this is later. Oh, this is during. This is after we've beaten two and four. This is an interesting way to tell a story. I see. So Mikhail was Michael in the time before his reincarnation? Yeah. And what was Michael called previous to that? I don't know. Michael never liked talking about his past much. I see. Hey Z, you've been dealing with dragons and junk for a while, right? Mind answering a couple of questions? Sure. Ask me anything. Well, first of all, what do they like to eat? Don't know. Well, then, how do they make fire? The stuff they breathe, I mean. Don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So, I heard once the dragon. Don't know. What about. Don't know. <laughs> I didn't even ask. Oh, I love question. Zero. I love Zero so much. So, did you and this stupid dragon Michael become best buds right away, or what? What do you think? Seems doubtful. <laughs> You've been paying attention. So, did you split up after that, or what? Hold on, I'm getting to it. So yeah, this prologue just seems to be mostly about... How Girl Met Dragon, basically. <laughs> you 
You can get now we're going back back to the past. See, whilst I'm not good at keeping the months in my head, I know that the Getting taken away somewhere. I give a shit zero. Fight fucking that's a lot of cubes. Why are there so many cubes? Oh boy. You're all going down. Where do we have to shoot down so many cubes? Oops. Okay. At least that was easy. upon cubes upon cubes why are you facing me with the trials of all the cubes there's more Why are we even fighting the cubes? Can't we just leave them alone? Can't we just fly off? Why are we just fighting this endless ravine of gargoyle cubes? Particularly interesting. Now that I've said that, it's going to throw some fucking bullshit at me at some point. Nope, it's just speeding up. Is that all? No, it's not all. Forty-eight. So, again, where are we going? I know about the power. It is intrinsically related to my proud dreams. Michael explained it like this: Dragons have been the natural enemies of the flower since ancient times, and dragons were the only creatures in existence that could destroy the flower. When he saw I was infected with it, it kind of hit a nerve, I guess. Michael kept describing it with words like destiny and preordained. Annoying as hell, actually, but whatever. So basically, the. All I needed was his help. The flower had become my sister's, and they had to be destroyed. And once that was done, I had to be destroyed as well. After I told him that, 
He stayed quiet for a while. Okay, so the flower is evil, and we need the dragon to kill the flower. And killing the flower means killing all the Intonas and then us. Oh, is there yet more fucking cubes? Why are we having fucking exposition via cube destruction? Apparently, it was a pretty agonizing decision for him. He'd been alive for a very, very long time. Long enough to know every kind of loss imaginable. And sometimes all that pain and loneliness got in the way of his thinking. But after a while, he whispered two words to me. Very well. And that was the start of our relationship. <laughs> I guess it's just to have so you have a little mindless. Oh, it keeps going! It's just exposition dump whilst you shoot fucking cubes. I just made this. This is. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. That one was almost missed. See, it's just expedition dumps spaced out by shooting cubes to keep you. not falling asleep, I guess. <laughs> it's still going! Why is this. Why is this not a fucking cutscene? Why is it just endlessly shooting cubes at increasingly fast speeds? And sometimes there just isn't even- oh god, now we move to a different section. It's better be the last fucking bit. Oh, we're going into the sky now. Eh. <laughs> Just endless hell. Of shooting down cubes. <laughs> okay, good night, Peach. I mean... I, uh, eventually, we'll reach the end of shooting down cube. Oh fuck, it's the big cube! The big fucking- oh, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here's a big fucking cube, and you think, shit, is this gonna be like an actual boss fight? So now, will you tell me where we're going? The mountain. Which mountain? I believe it's called Mount Burn. Burn Slice. Huh? Speak up. The name doesn't matter. It's a holy mountain. <laughs> Cubes are the natural enemy of the dragon, after all. I just love that, just, oh no, it's the biggest, mightiest cube, it is still a cube and dies in a single hit. The dragon had lived for millennia. He had fought thousands of battles. He had lost count of how many people and other creatures he had killed. In the end, all that remained was a mountain of smoldering castles and half-burnt corpses. And over the sad and endless years, everything the dragon once believed in had become as ashes in the wind. No. Mission complete. We defeated the big cube. Oh, my hand really hurts from. Is so the dragon? The dragon back, like, shooting missions are really fucking, really do get painful because you have to mash so much to fight, to do rapid fire shots. It's, ah. Oh. I think the, um, the one in Four's mission is still probably the worst, though. I think that one definitely strained me the most just because it's fighting a huge fucking boss. What's the next in Mikhail's diary? The Land of Fish. February 17th. Rain. I've been on this island for a week. There's lots of fish everywhere. 
big fish and pretty fish and flat fish and fish with feathers and arms and legs and stuff. Oh, and mackerel. I like mackerel. I want to go to the other islands, but I don't know how. Since it started raining, it's just been water all over the place. Alright. Well, didn't use up any items, but I'm going to continue on. Yuki has returned! Welcome back, Yoke. We're on Zero's prologue missions. And my hand is incredibly sore from having to shoot. If I can. Oh, let's do wrist stretches. And we get an important lore and backstory, though it delivered that by making us have to shoot 500 cubes. This place is nice and all, but why are we here exactly? According no, it's Mount Whatever. The flower you carry will bring ruin upon the entire world. That's what they tell me. As such, it is my duty to kill you on this very spot. Okay. And yet, I have concerns about this. If I believed every cradle tale my elders told me, I would be no better than you foolish, low-born humans. Look, what's the deal? Are you going to kill me or not? I must test your strength. Huh? Oh, Shizu, thank you for the raid! I really need to fix that fucking, um... I really need to fix that fucking, uh... uh shout-out prompt. Let me give you... Lost souls are coming for me! Thank you for the follow, Ch Chasima! Let me just get a proper shout out's done. Mmm. What were you actually doing? She's she's a. Uh, what are you up to? Ah, uh, fatal frame. That's a fun one. And shout out. Okay, I'll give it a couple of minutes for um, a minute or so because put ads to sort out in a bit. But um, for anyone who's currently here, my name is Kurosami. I'm a digital rabbit VTuber. Yeah, she's, I'm a digital rabbit VTuber. I play a lot of different games. And um, right now I'm playing Dragon Guard 3. Thank you for the follow, Jim Potential Cat. But yes. If you're confused, my pronouns usually are usually are she her, just as usual default. Um, but yes, I'm currently playing Dragon Guard Three. We're just on the last of the DLC chapters. Thank you for the stretch redeem. Which is a lot of backstory. So if you don't know Dragon Guard Three, it might be a bit confused. Slight um content warning: Dragon Guard Three does deal with a lot of um dark and also horny themes sometimes but it seems to have like slowed down on that front at least as things are getting a bit more serious there are some indeed sexual themes but we haven't actually had to deal with them in a while but anyway we gotta prove to the dragon that we're strong enough so we have to go down this mountain which is actually more like a temple Witness lit. A hideous clutch of monsters call this mountain home. If you have yeah. the strength to defeat them, you might have the strength to suppress your curse. Overcome this trial, and I will grant you the right to live. It will not be easy. Hey, wait. Hey, get back here, asshole. What kind of ridiculous reason is that? Don't leave me alone on this shit heap, <laughs> you goddamn idiot. Oh, Zero's great. And before, if you're one, if you're someone who's say played uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, you may recognize Zero's voice actor. And yes, it is Edelgard. So if you've ever seen the meme videos that has Edelgard swearing a lot, this is the game where it comes from. This is all just Zero voice lines. Oh fuck, we have to do the fucking platforming. Yes and no, Jimper. 
hate stupid shit like this. This is such a pain in the ass. So, I guess Dragon Guard 1 and 3 technically are, but only kind of like semi tangentially because, um, yeah, Nier is from. from your typical dragon. Sorry. Dragons are usually intelligent, dignified, reluctant to deal with people. Michael tried to act the part, but there was something off about the whole thing. And what's more? He seemed to take an actual interest in the human race. So, I tried to take advantage of that good-natured friendliness in order to fulfill my own goals. So yeah, so... Drakengard 1 has a bunch of different endings, and one of them... Ending D, I think it is, it's called? All It's like the fourth ending, is the one that leads into Nier. And Drakengard 3 is a prequel, so it technically does also lead into Drakengard 2 and thus into near that near ending. Drakengard 2 is a sequel to one of the endings of- specifically to ending A of Drakengard- the first ending of Drakengard 1. So technically, Drakengard 2 isn't part of, um, the near timeline, but Drakengard 3 and 1 are. But yeah, as far as, like, the timeline of that goes, like, in the Dragon Guard games, 2 is the one set the furthest along. But I don't think there's much in, um, 3 that's really referenced in Nier. It's mostly just stuff- there might be, I don't know, we'll have to see about the, um... I said I haven't been particularly spoiling it, and we'll have to see what happens in the, uh, other endings. We've only got the first ending so far, which didn't really explain a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guy goes. I hate these. Can't see shit in this fucking snow. Don't you jump away? I oh, know he's getting mad. Ow! Oh sh Christ, that hurts. Oh yeah, that's also yeah. I completely forgot to ask Shizu if you. Still around. Did you have fun with your fatal framing? You're taking pictures of them ghosts. Ah, wolves! Tentacles can't indeed. Has appropriate emotes even. Though I know the those are um skew chans, aren't they? Yeah. Ah fuck, missed time the parry and break my guard, but at least I didn't take any damage. Ah yeah. oh, fuck. Trolls. Ow! My face! It's just fucking. Here. I do like Scoochan's art. She does draw good titty. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Fuck! Everything hurts! Alright, good. Go. Get stunned, nerd. 
button is the can we okay yes there is still the platform there there's less is it actually going up and down oh are we supposed to go from this way aha yeah shiny things ah fuck imps and we don't have ranged attacks why cruel fate why would you subject us to this Okay, that's one down. Why does the little fucking lock on keep fucking breaking off? Okay, this one I have to kind of like wait for it to. Okay, no. You know what? Ah, fuck! Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of blood in this game. It's not as. It's... Oh, this fucking platform shit. It's not as detailed as or dynamic as Bloodborne would be, but uh, it is very much just an effect that fades in as you kill shit, rather than actually having any kind of simulated blood spatter. Yeah, there's a bo This is, this is, you did kill a lot of people, Zero. Just... Alright, you gonna come down from here? Ah, damn it, I missed the parry. Here you go. Ah, damn it. It's too soon that time. God, I hate these things, and when you don't have... So the combat in this game is built around having multiple weapons. Hmms. But in the DLC chapters, you only have whatever weapon you're given. And sometimes they throw enemies that weren't designed with... Or, like, at least weren't initially designed. Yeah, not fighting that in normal mode if it's going to set me on fire all the time. Mmm, it's on fire and it hurts. Okay, it does, it does use, do the usual burning thing where you do recover the HP. Mm, please die quickly there. Okay. Is that the end? It's played a cutscene, so I think that's the end. Mmm. No, uh, is the a... Well the door's opening, but it might still be the end end. Yeah, because there's a... We did it! I can't believe you made me climb this bullshit mountain. You didn't climb it. Oh, what? Hurry along. We need to go for it. Go where? Next up is the land of forests. Where? What? You didn't say anything about doing more of this crap. And when did I say this was all there was? You need to pay closer attention. Otherwise, someone will have <laughs> Shut your trap, would you? This is great. Me. Climb on. Let's go. Please don't make me shoot more cubes. Mm. We're gonna go to the Forest of Trials and fight an illusion of one or ourself again. Yeah, Zero's great. I love her. Mm -mm -mm. And let's see what's the next on Mikhail's diary. <clears throat> April 19th. Cloudy. 
I saw some humans today. They all really like songs and sing pretty much all day long. Even though everything kind of sucks for them at the moment, I even sang for a while too. The singing reminded me of Zero. It's funny, even though I forget a lot of stuff, I always remember her. I think it's because she was angry with me all the time. I wish she would have sang with me instead. I'm lonely, Zero. So is this... This seems to be from, like, a potential ending. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it is. That seems to come, like, I haven't gotten all any of the other endings about the default one, but in the default ending, Mikhail died. But this sounds like Mikhail in a post... Where Zero's dead and he's alive, so I wonder what if that comes from a specific ending. There's another ending where Mikhail survives, maybe. Maybe it's just a time when he's just separated from Zero for whatever reason. Two months later, after dealing with the mountain bullshit. Oh, we're in the Shrine of Sands now. Why are we here? Not to prove our strength to Michael. You know, you've taken me to a lot of bad places, but this dink shithole really takes the cake. Is that the attempt from an intoner? Shut up! Mmm, boys, this will be a boss stage, though. I think this will be the final, because all the DLC chapters are four chapters long. This is the fourth chapter. That's it. I will be a boss at the end of here. First we must walk. Oh, do we have to do platforming for extra chests first though? Yes we do! Fuck! I mean I don't have to do it, but shiny loot and nice things, and it's right there. Ooh boy, time for platforming. Mm. Ah, ah, what the fuck happened there? Perfectly functioning game. Alright, first... Okay, phew. I was worried that would... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, that looks... fun, whatever the... Okay, is this going to... start falling as we walk along it? Yes, it is. Okay, but it's good. Done it in one. Okay, now I don't have to bother with that shit again. Is that- I would- I'd believe it. Like, is that an actual Yoko Taro quote? Because I'd believe it. That's- Who do I fight now? Me. Prove your strength by besting me in combat. If you are so able, I shall grant your wish. I, Michael. The strongest of all dragons will become your friend and companion. And together we shall overcome every obstacle the flower sees fit to place in our path. How many times have I told you to knock off the formal bullshit? Tommy. And I never ask for a friend. Begin. Now we fight. Hey, come on now. Wait a second. I didn't ask for this. You never asked for this. You aren't the strongest of any. Stupidest, maybe, but not the strongest. Yeah, I figured as much. You don't want to die, then raise your guard. Bitch, isn't this a little sudden? It's kind of tough to get motivated all spur of the moment. Not insulting like some beast boy. Attack you with all of your might. And like it says I can hit though. Ah oh, yeah, you just parry him. Like it had a target on, so I thought it was like, okay, do you actually hit them back instead of parrying? Somewhere along the line, I started to enjoy talking with Michael. You always hear about how no one can live alone. 
And according to Michael, it was the same with dragons. He once mentioned, almost casually, that for him, being alone Ow. was no different from being dead. I found it hard to believe a dragon could ever feel such Let he go. But I guess they can. Or Michael could, at least. He was too stupid to lie to me about it. And it was clear he wanted me to feel the same. Michael? Are you gonna do anything? I think he's stuck. You all right? Uh, I know that, all right. Michael? Are you... After living for all these millennia, after losing all that I loved and believed in, all that remained inside me... Michael? Loneliness. Are you okay? I thought I would never speak to another person. Are you okay, dude? But as for why I desire to be with Zero, I cannot say. <laughs> I think, I think he's broken. But... Michael, are you are you good, buddy? Are you? He's just stuck. Oh well, let's uh, put him out of his misery. No. <laughs> well, that was easy. Now we freed you from your endless trap, Michael. That's the wrong word. I think you mean <laughs> Michael. So it's it's fun to learn that Michael was always an idiot, even before he died and became became Mikhail. Hmm. So that's how you first met Michael. Yep. Wait, what? By the way, when did all of you get here? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's a cord! Get it. So, how am I supposed to avoid this disastrous branch you're talking about? Well, we actually don't know yet. You don't know, but you came to warn me anyway? What are you, stupid? There's never any harm in gathering information, is there? Michael is so boundlessly fascinating to me. He tries to act dignified, but he lacks the intelligence to pull it off. Is that perhaps stimulating your maternal instinct, Zero? So, a cord is the, um... We know a cord is the, both the shopkeeper and the person who posts the, uh, job requests. And she was also the person who shows up at the very end... Who showed up at the very end of the first ending saying like, Ah oh, yeah, this fucking sucks. No, not at all. I'm sure you could find- it, Like, it's probably a bit more niche, but if you like search like, um, Accord Cosplay- Drakengard Accord Cosplay, you might be able to find something. Realize that getting too attached to a dragon could cost you later. No one asked you. And I'm not attached to him, alright? Yes, but looking at our observation records, I see you've been smiling more since making contact with Michael. I don't pay attention to shit like that. We must avoid a full collapse no matter what. Observing and recording are our jobs, remember? Dragons are certainly interesting. Humans, too. Yep, yep. Okay, so apparently at some point in... So this is like, must be some point in the middle of... Between, like, between, um... I'm not interested in joining up with you, but I will put an end to this flower. Understood. However, if you fail to destroy the flower, 
We will be forced to eliminate the singularity. In other words, you. And then, seal off this branch forever. I'm not here to fail, so just stay the hell out of my way. If you mess with me, I'll kill you all. Got it? Such confidence. Are you sure you can trust Michael that much? I don't trust him at all, but he... he wouldn't lie to me. He can't. He's too stupid for it to <laughs> even occur to him. And no matter how many times he fails, he'll keep his promise and kill me in the end. So, in other words, you're trusting him after all, right? Shut up. This has got the fucking. I never once trusted Michael. He was just an idiot dragon with a knack for saying things wrong. Why would anyone trust someone like that? Yeah, that was suddenly. We were always screwing. With ah, this is really life. loud. Why did that suddenly get? It was a lot of fun. Zero why? Of fun. <laughs> Zero. Why did you get so loud? Why is this hanging on? Game? Yeah, Zero is the best. But, uh... Game? Hello? Is it frozen? Is it supposed to just hang like this for ages? I wouldn't... Because it repeated, you heard that right, she said, like, it, the, she, the sound was getting really loud, and the, um, last line got repeated, so I'm worried that it's glitched, that it's crashed on me. Like, I assume that was the very end. Uh... Game, please. I think I think it's crashed. I think it's frozen. I don't think it's supposed to pause for this long. Hmm. Hmm. Especially since. <laughs> It was bugging out with Michael as well. Okay. I think... You know, you can see it's shrinking down because I'm minimizing the window. Let's see. Yeah, it's crashed because it's not letting me bring up the um, home menu. Okay. Now the question is, did it save that we had completed the mission, or do we have to fight Michael again? <laughs> uh, I need to... Let's not show that off. Secret. Shh, no one saw that. <laughs> Just sit back in the room for a little bit. Mmm... Uh, totally legitimate digital PlayStation 3 PlayStation 3 digital edition boot up. Okay, now we can go back. It's the... Now it's the PlayStation... It's the RP PlayStation 3. Not anything else, not anything with a similar name. Ah, uh, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Alright, has that counted as clearing the DLC and is that if if so, is there anything we missed off that cutscene or was that the end of it? Requests DLC 
Yeah, that seemed like like the actual end of that. Okay, we have to do that chapter. We have to fight. We have to do that again. And because it did not save. So let's hopefully that won't crash. So let's fight a dragon again. We'll skip all the cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. But I need to have the clear data on the um I need to have the clear data on the file, Caden, so I have to fight it. So yeah, it looked very much like the like the end of the cutscene. You know, you've taken me to a lot of bad uh. This big shithole really takes the cake. Do I have to do all the platforming again? Shut up. Um, I don't want to have to do the platforming again, but it's going to bug me if I don't. That I lost the um, treasure just for a fucking crash because it didn't save. Uh, yeah, oh, we can't skip this. It's a loading screen. It wasn't that long of a um, platforming section, at least, anyway, so... so as long as I don't fuck it up. Money, money, money. So what I want to avoid is being like, oh, okay, I'm, I've, got all, I've got all this money for my upgrades, and then being like, oh, this final upgrade has... Ah, shit! <laughs> Fucked up already. And we have to, yeah, we have to jump up and go through it in sequence. Such good platforming control. Yep, yep, that happened again. Such good platforming controls. Okay, so we just need the timing on this. Shit! I did not have the timing. Okay, I'm not going to bother getting that third chest. <laughs> the timing's going to be that much of an ass. Okay. Now we must fight. Hey, come on now. Wait a second. I didn't we must fight Durgan again. He wasn't particularly. Now. Oh. Okay. No, you can't really. I started to enjoy talking with Michael. You always hear about how no one can live alone. And according to Michael, it was the same with dragons. He once mentioned, almost casually, that for him, being alone was no different from being dead. I found it hard to believe a dragon could ever feel such loneliness. But, I guess they can. Or, Michael could at least. Yeah. He was too stupid to lie to me about This is not a particularly it. long it fight. he wanted me to feel the same. You, you all right? Yeah, parrying does nothing. Not worth. I know that, all right. He's not getting stuck this time. After living for all these millennia, after losing all that I loved and believed in, all that remained inside me was loneliness. I thought I would never speak to another person. Yeah, he's supposed to like break up the fight with these flying sections so that he can monologue.
So that's how the fight's supposed to go. It's supposed to It's supposed to fucking... At least, yeah, at least it is an easy fight. Get parried, nerd. Got him! Anyway, skip all those nonsense. Yeah, that's how the fight was supposed to go. See, we, we had to do it so that we got the real fight. Hmm, so that's how you first met Michael. Yep, yep, yep. Talk to all th Yep, by the- Oh. So. Well, we actually- You don't know. There's never any- Why is only- also, why does only one of them speak Michael, at- Michael, is that- No. Like, no matter which one you talk to, it's always the one on the left that speak- that, that's, like, actually speaking to you. you I wonder if that's no one intentional- yes, it's hard to tell I if that's an intentional or a glitch. Anyway, okay. Let's see if that was indeed the end of the cutscene. If it- mm. I'm not interested, but I- under We will be full- And I'm not- so if you uh, no, 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 And shut- Oh, yeah! Don't let your dreams be dreams. You can, in fact, he was just an idiot. You can, in fact, get your accord cosplay. Why would anyone trust someone like that? We were always screwed. It's still getting really loud. Ow! It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay, it definitely always crashes here. So I think I'm gonna have to call it a night then, because it is quite late, and that's the end of the DLC. But yeah, it's, it's, it's reliably crashing at this point. And it's not letting me skip anything, it's not letting me think. So let's, um, close that down. I might see if it'll work. Like, I'll, if I'll do that, like, I won't do, bother doing that this day. I'll try and get it, I'll try and get, like, the clear data sorted off stream. Because it's, like, it's not like it's a large amount of effort, it's just a, not great for watching me do the same easy fight again and again and do the really annoying jumping puzzle. So, um, I'm gonna go to where? Uh, YouTube. Let's go, I'm just gonna double check, make sure there's nothing missing, there's nothing missing off the end there. Okay, this is a whole fucking video of the entire prologue chapter. Okay, there is a bunch after this, so what I'm going to do is I will put up a full screen. I will just stream a fucking YouTube video with window capture. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot, actually quite a, a lot after that. Is, this, is there actually? Yeah, there's a little, there's a little, okay, it's just a little storybook section after it. So, if we full screen that, swap back to here. Well, I'll do back to there, and can I just do and will it just eh. Will that capture? No, I have to do window capture normally. Eh. Okay, that and... Right? Shut up. Wait, it's just, it's just like a minute or so. I've never once trusted Michael. He was just an idiot dragon with a knack for saying things wrong. Why would anyone trust someone like that? 
We were always grueling with each other, you know? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, there's not a repetition. Sometimes Michael would get this one expression okay, on new stuff. Face. And I couldn't tell if it was happy or sad. Michael, just hold on, okay? I'll be joining you soon. The night he chose to fight the Intoner, the dragon had a dream. The boy was a friend, one he fought with long ago. The dragon was shaking. Shaking with the fear of yet another battle. With the fear of yet another loss. As the dragon headed for a broken world, the boy stood silent. Yeah, fucking YouTube pop-up nonsense, but we saw enough of that. That just suddenly cut out. Interesting. Anyway, now I can... Yeah, fucking YouTube nonsense that you can't fucking turn off. But yeah, so that was all the Dragon Guard 3 DLC. Yeah, interesting that it did end, like, I'm guessing that um, ending is, that a, like, TV cutout was something that's very sudden in thing, or it was something they did in editing because they're a weirdo. I'll have to see when I try and get the end of that ending myself. Try to get that thing myself. But, um, I can... Anyway, that is all the Dragon Guard 3 DLC, which means uh, we can continue on with the other, getting the other endings over the course of the week. Let's see if we can, I'll hopefully be able to finish it this week. If not, it'll hopefully be... But, but so let's have a look at whomst is online to raid. Tell me who's here to raid. I want who I want to raid. Mr. Twitch.tv. Holy crap, there's a lot of people. Mmm. Oh, too many people I can't choose. Too many people playing Resident Evil 4. I can't, I, actually, a lot of people started beating Resident Evil 4. It's like, yeah, too many stuff I don't want to get spoiled on. Uh... <sighs> Mm, so I remember, I'm just adjusting brain hooms. Thank you all for coming and thank you, thank you for all the raiders. Like we had two raids today, that's pretty good. But but yeah, let's raid. <sighs> I haven't raided Larry in a while. Let's go raid Larry. Yes, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for all the new followers. And yeah, we'll go raid Leary Leary who's playing Filament, which is some kind of, I think it's a cozy puzzle game of some kind. I'll just double check, make sure her raid's still actually, her stream's actually continuing on. Yeah, it's some kind of puzzle game, which is very different vibes from, from Dragon Guard. But yeah, let's go say hi. But thank you all for coming, and you'll get to see my schedule. We have a busy schedule this week. Eek. Eek. But yes, I'm probably just going to go straight and collapse to bed. <laughs> Bye!